one of the clock. It is now the first hour, and time is, as it were, stepping out of darkness and stealing towards the day. The cock calls to his hen and bids her beware of the fox, and the watch, having walked the streets, take a nap upon a stall. The bellman calls to the maids to look to their locks, their fire, and their light, and the child in the cradle calls to the nurse for a dug. The cat sits watching behind the cupboard for a mouse, and the flea sucks on sweet flesh till he is ready to burst with the blood. The spirits of the studious start out of their dreams, and if they cannot fall asleep again, then to the book and the wax candle. The dog at the door frays the thief from the house, and the thief within the house may hap to be about his business. In some places bells are rung to certain orders, but the quiet sleeper never tells the clock. Not to dwell too long upon it, I hold it the farewell of the night, and the forerunner of the day, the spirit's watch, and reason's workmaster. Farewell.